Alamos Malbec. These vineyards of Mendoza, Argentina lie in the foothills of the Andes Mountains and are influenced by the intense mountain sunlight and pure snowmelt water from the Andes Mountains. Cultivated by the Catina family for over 100 years, Mendoza's vineyards are among the highest in the world. This wine displays flavors of dark cherry and blackberry with a long, lingering finish and is excellent with grilled meats or today's wintertime recipe, pork medallions with grits and a balsamic wine reduction. And this balsamic reduction is going to start with the two cups of balsamic vinegar and a half a cup of our Alamos Malbec. Now we're going to turn the heat onto medium, medium high and let this simmer to reduce by 75%. It should have the consistency of maple syrup. And when it's done, we're going to let it cool and put it in a plastic squirt bottle which will keep in your fridge for up to two weeks. Next, we're going to take grandma's advice and cook our grits for at least 45 minutes on low and slow until they're very creamy. Now on our pork tenderloin, we're going to remove the silver skin here because it's tough as nails and it's just not polite to serve it with it on there. We'll just insert our knife, pull down and we'll cut back and continue until it's all gone. And next we'll just cut our pork tenderloin into some nice round oval medallions. Next we'll season the taste with some kosher salt and some fresh cracked pepper. I'm going to really push that pepper in so it adheres. We're going to heat our skillet over a medium high heat for at least one minute. Next we'll add our oil to our skillet and swirl the coat. And here's a trick for you. We took a piece of fat off of our pork tenderloin when we were trimming it up and we'll use that to help flavor it while they're cooking in the medallions. Add our medallions. Now, unlike chicken, pork can be cooked to a medium well, about 165 degrees internal temperature, just the slightest bit of pink. Great flavor. Now let's give these a turn and reveal that delicious caramelization on there. which only comes from a stainless steel pan. And for some more flavor, we're going to add a rosemary sprig and kind of work it around. Add a little layer of flavor. They're going to cook quick, about two minutes per side, and that's it. We'll go ahead and plate them up, and we'll set them aside to rest, and we'll be ready to plate it up. And because we have our squirt bottle of our balsamic vinegar reduction, we can use it to make some fancy lines. Another great wine for this dish that goes great with pork and turkey and salmon is the Mirasu Pinot Noir. You'll love the flavors of black cherry, vanilla, and light toasty oak. The finish is long and lingering with a hint of spice, but what if you're a beer fan? Stella Artois is a great pairing with this dish, and they've been doing it right in 80 countries since 1366. 
This Belgian pale ale is golden yellow and has great carbonation. It has a nice bitterness to it. And you'll pick up on the hints of the lemony flavor, the fruity sweetness, and dry finish. It's clean and neat. Another great beer for this dish is the Dogfish Head Flesh and Blood IPA. This fruit-infused IPA has all-natural real fruit, orange peel, lemon flesh, and orange blood juice. It's a great marriage of hops and aromatics and is multi-fruit and has a beautiful citrus tart finish. Enjoy!